Hi, it's Nick from Nick's Nutrition and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make healthy protein flat packs. So protein flat packs has been my number one requested recipe over the past few weeks and yesterday I finally perfected my recipe. These protein flat packs are packed full of goodness and nutrients and you can either enjoy them plain or you can drizzle them with dark chocolate or some I even dipped half in chocolate. They taste absolutely amazing. They're crunchy on the outside, chewy on the inside. They make a perfect snack between meals or a perfect dessert. Um, and I'd like to say that you can enjoy them guilt free. So all the information that you'll need to make these protein flat packs will be on nixnutrition.com and I'll link that below. For the base of your protein flapjacks though, you'll need a cup full of rolled oats, fantastic source of soluble fibre and they're low GI so they release the ranges slowly. You'll need a scoop of your protein powder, I've got um, sativa, chocolate and caramel today. Sativa is a vegan protein so it's dairy free, lactose free and it's also got no added sugar or sweeteners so that's why I like it and they've also been kind enough to give me a promo code so I'll put that in the description bar below. If you're choosing a chocolate flapjack, then I'd also add a teaspoon of cocoa and I'm also going to add a teaspoon of cinnamon and vanilla for flavouring. You'll need um, a third of a cup of ground flaxseed, so flax meal, really good source of omega-3 fats um, and it helps to basically bind the, the flapjack together. You'll need half a cup full of coconut flakes, fantastic source of fibre and healthy fats. You'll need a third of a cup full of mixed seeds, so I've got pumpkin, sunflower and flax seeds in there and they add a real crunch to flapjack. You'll need a heaped cup full of dates, a fantastic natural source of sweeteners, they really help the flapjack to bind together. And then wet ingredients, you'll need um, two tablespoons of coconut oil, you can either get coconut oil from Waitrose, Tesco, Amazon or eBay and you'll need three tablespoons of honey or I suppose you could use maple syrup and if you want to top your flapjacks with chocolate then I've chosen to use 85% cocoa because it's a fantastic source of antioxidants to keep us healthy. So all you want to do is add all your ingredients into a food processor. So I've added the oats, I've got the flax seeds and the coconut flakes in there. I'm just going to add the seeds in there or I suppose you could use chopped nuts. I'm going to add my chocolate protein powder as well as cinnamon and cocoa in there and last but not least I'm going to add my dates. So once you've added all your dry ingredients you want to give it a whiz for about one or two minutes um, until everything's nicely all broken up and combined. Once you've combined all the ingredients in a food processor and don't worry if you've got a few chunks of dates still left, it'll just make flapjacks a bit more chewy. You want to transfer all the dry ingredients into a bowl and you want to heat your coconut oil and your honey in the microwave for about a minute and then add it into the bowl. Once all of the ingredients are in the bowl you want to give it a good mix um, and I think a wooden spoon is best for this. Just keep mixing until all of the dry ingredients are coated with your wet ones. Once all your ingredients are nice and mixed, you want to pour it into about an 8x8 or a 9x9 inch baking tray. You can either grease yours or I've chosen to line it with baking paper because it makes it so much easier to pull out at the end. So you want to pour all the mixture in and then you want to really squash it down so that it's all really firmly compact. So once your flapjack mixture is all pressed down, it should look something like this. You then want to pop it in the oven for 20 minutes. So once your bars have been baking for 20 minutes, you want to take them out of the oven and allow them to cool before putting them in the fridge for around 4 to 5 hours. When you take them out, they will be really firm. So that means that you can slice them up and if you slice them into 6 pieces, They'll come in at 10 grams of protein per bar and if you slice them up into 12 pieces, which is what I did, they'll come in at 5 grams of protein per bar. I'll put all the other information about calories and carbs on my website um, and then once they are cooled you can just melt some dark chocolate in the microwave about um, one square per bar and either drizzle the chocolate on or dip them in. Um, you can wrap them up in cellophane or foil to just grab and go um, and I personally would keep them in the fridge. So do let me know if you decide to make these protein flapjacks, send me a picture on Twitter and I will upload it onto my website. I really hope that you've enjoyed this recipe video and if you have don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe.